meet Afternoon Express's guests. Excella Pure Sunflower Oil, Thai Long Grain Rice and Mayonnaise. A taste of pure excellence for meals made excellent. Welcome back to Afternoon Express right here on S3. Now listen, Mzanti, we have been dealing with all things sweet, so I think it's time for something savory. And as promised, Chef Dumi is here to deliver that something savory. For your next family meal, why not try this mother-in-law of beef curry with fluffy rice and a carrot salad made with Excella, a taste of pure excellence. Now, we also want to remind all of those go getter chefs out there to enter the Excella Young Chef competition for the winner. There is, drum roll, please, Dumi. 20,000 Rand up for grabs. Now, Dooms, what advice do you want to share with all of those chefs that may be thinking of entering this great competition? Look, Balissa, all I'm going to say is stop thinking about it and just <laughs> do it. Your life could literally change. If I look at the winners, the past winners, and how they, how far they've come, yeah. just because of the excellent Young Chef competition, that is reason enough to enter. Take the leap, Mzansi, but if they are looking for some recipe inspiration, this next one is exactly it. So I went on and did, did some research to find out why <laughs> Exactly, the mother-in-law spice or mother-in-law masala is called such. And it's sort of the fiery attitude and, and energy that they put uh, off, which is yeah. not always true, you know? It is not always true, but the flavor is what we're focusing on. Yeah, we're on. not stereotyping here. The flavor is basically delicious. It's tasty. It's still very spicy, though. And what makes it such is that Kashmiri chili, that is what makes the, the, the mother-in-law spice so significant because of that red, powerful color that it actually gives. And uh, if you don't have it, it's fine. Any type of chili would work. So okay. before we get too far, let me actually start this recipe for you. Mm. And it starts with our whole spices. And I want people to understand what I mean by whole spices. Mm. We've got our whole cumin over here. We've got some cinnamon and some star anise. Star anise. I just want to have a little bit of a whiff. I love oh, the cinnamon. That sweetness, it, yeah. it's, it's a truly warming spice. Mm. So what you also have to make sure of when you are adding your whole spices into the pot is to make sure it's not too hot. Okay. You don't want to burn them. You want them to slowly release their essence and their flavor into the dish, imparting the flavor you want. If you overcook them, if your mm. heat is too high, you're going to burn them and they're going to turn bitter. That sweetness you were talking about from the cinnamon, yes. it literally dissipates if you're going to be too heavy-handed. So as you see, I've now added my curry leaves in here, and this is exactly what we want. We want it to be crackling up a bit, because that means that it also is cooking, releasing the moisture in it, mm. and then imparting the flavor of that curry flavor. Mm. And now we're going to start then just building over this flavor, Bali. And I know you love yourself some spice, but I also know you love yourself some meat, and that's why we wanted to make sure we keep it in Bali's. Tick, <laughs> tick, and tick. I mean, I do love a good curry. Um, especially during these cold seasons, you know, having something like chili to warm the body up mm. is so, so fulfilling. A lot of us, when we have those big deals when you go shopping and you find, what do they have got? A bag of onions, a bag of tomatoes, yeah. a bag of this. You buy all of it and then it's now sitting at the back of your cupboard and you're like, so what am I going to use this for? A curry. A curry. And obviously you need a vehicle that's going to put everything together. And that's where our friend here, or Excella Sunflower Oil comes in. As you can mm. see, it is such a new neutral oil that it allows to enhance the flavor of whatever that it is that you're cooking, making it easier to, to use in all these type of cooking applications. We're using it in a curry today. Yeah. You want to have a, a chocolate cake you want to make, put that baby in there. You want to make a dessert and you want to do something, add our Excella oil. You can fry with it. You can bake with it. You can grill with it. It is literally just as versatile as me when I'm in the kitchen. When I'm in the <laughs> hey, kitchen, I put it all down. Do me. <laughs> and another thing that I appreciate about the Excella oil is that Yes, go. Odorless. 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 The only thing I'm smelling right now is those onions cooking down, the ginger that you just put in, and all of those very aromatic spices. It is absolutely neutral, and that's why, as you said, it makes it the perfect vehicle for a curry of the sort. Of the sort. Now, this is also a very flavor-intense type of dish, though that is why it is important to add each step slowly, one by one, mm -hmm. allowing it to cook off and release its flavor, because mm -hmm. it is now time for us to add our spices. So I'm going in with a bit of turmeric, and I'm using a uh, type of Kashmiri or rather a mother-in-law spice. Mine is a little less on the spicier side, but if you do want more of it, add that mother-in-law spice. You want that heat. Put all of it. Yeah, so I'm just going to add a bit more of our, my Excella oil here because you also don't want your spices to burn. But Bali, you're over there making our salad for us. Yeah, so you have promised us a side. Mm -hmm. And the side you've chosen is a carrot salad. So we've got our carrots right here. You've already grated it up for me. Thanks, girl. That's why I appreciate I you. you. 
Shout out to you. <laughs> but we also have some raisins because sometimes with the heat of the curry and the overwhelming taste of the curry, you want something to kind of balance it out. You do. And that's why the XLR Pai Long Grain Rice is also great in this instance mm. because you've got the sweetness and the, you know, sort of zinginess that comes from your salad. And then you've got your heat that comes from your beef curry. So what basically ties it all together and literally gives you that balance is our Excella Thai long grain rice. I am so obsessed with that idea, Dumi, because at the end of the day, the Excella rice is an affordable premium quality product, perfect for everyday meals. It has a great taste and is white and fluffy when cooked. It's super, super versatile for savory or sweet dishes and a little feeds the whole family. Girl, as you can see now, our sauce is getting nice and thickened. So all we want to do is let it cook down a bit. So if you have time, make sure to do that. Allow your onions to get nice and golden brown, mm. not burnt, guys. A slow residual heat is good for these type of dishes because, like I said, you want to release the flavor. Mm. And now we just go in with our beef. <laughs> I love it to fall off the bone. I want it stuck. I don't want anything being stuck in my teeth. So how long is the right amount of time to cook that beef down in a curry? So I'm going to give you a tip, right? As you can see, I've not added any liquid into this. Yes. I like to do this where I give it a, a low heat. I add slightly just a little bit of moisture and then I cover it on a medium heat and mm. let that cook for 45 minutes to an hour untouched, mm -hmm. uncovered. Just let it do its thing. Sometimes people add a lot of water and then you end up just getting it boiling where the heat dissipates, but the meat is rubbery. You don't want that. Oh. You want the meat to be nice and soft, so let it cook in its own juices. 45 minutes to an hour and your curry is ready. No added water, got that. Well, my salad is done and dusted. I added some sugar and I added some chili, ready to go and enjoy. Once again, we've showed you that with Excella, meals are made excellent. But now, if you are inspired and think you have what it takes to make this mother-in-law beef curry, then enter the Excella Young Chef competition. If you are a qualified chef with at least three years of experience, are under the age of 35 and have a confident personality to be on TV, then why not enter and stand a chance of competing for that 20,000 Rand cash prize and the prestigious title of Excella Young Chef for 2023. To enter, follow the Excella Young Chef competition link on the Afternoon Express's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages or on our website. Upload a video of yourself sharing your name and a short intro about you, where you're from, and where you qualified. Describe your signature Excella dish using Excella rice, Excella sunflower oil, or Excella mayonnaise. And then tell us why your meal is made excellent with Excella. Entries close at midday on the 21st of July, 2023. T's and C's apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Excella, a taste of pure excellence. Yeah, Bo, see to all those young aspiring chefs, get entering. We want to see that passion on a plate.